Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, uh, I suppose the first video in a series of videos that I'm going to create now in relation to how to use Excel to calculate some basic descriptive statistics uh, like the sample mean, the variance, the standard deviation and so on. Uh, and more importantly, I suppose we could do these through using the data analysis tool pack, but I want to show how we can actually construct these particular tables themselves within Excel. Uh, and to motivate these particular examples, uh, I'm going to stick with this particular group frequency distribution that represents uh, some fictitious uh, exam grades for 15, 30, uh, we've got 40, 50, 60, 60 people. Okay? Actually, maybe what I should do here is actually say what the total is. Okay? The total uh, is equal to the sum. It's the sum of all of these frequencies. Okay? Uh, so we have 60 uh, students, let's say, took a particular exam, and this is the distribution of grades. We have five students score between 0 and 20 percent, and we have 10 students here score between 20 and 40 percent, and so on and so forth. For the 60 students, they're distributed across these particular exam, exam grade bands, if you, if you want to think about it like this. And what I'd like to be able to do is, uh, from this group frequency distribution through Excel, uh, and using the using uh, creating tables within Excel, I'd like to be able to calculate the, the sample mean. Let's assume this is sample data taken from a larger population. Uh, now, there's many formulas that we have in relation. Over here, I have uh, some sets of some formulas. Uh, population uh, parameters, uh, sample statistics listed down here. For the mean, uh, you can see that mu in the population case is equal to sigma fx over sigma f. And in the sample case, it's equal to sigma fx over sigma f also. Yeah? Okay? And you can see the variance formulas are, are depicted here. Uh, I've given two sets of formulas. This is for frequency distribution, uh, and this is also for frequency distribution. But this time, x here represents an observation. Uh, actually, it's it's in this case the x is going to be at the midpoint of the class. So actually, I've just rewritten the formulas like this, where m represents the midpoint of the class. And some students like to see it in this particular in this particular fashion. But basically, then we if we want to calculate uh, means and variances and standard deviations of this particular data set, we need f's, we need frequencies, and uh, we also need x values. Uh, we don't have the x values themselves, we don't have the actual observations. All we know is that these five observations occurred within this particular class. So we need to choose a representative from this particular this particular interval to represent the five thing, the five, the five observations. And we typically choose the midpoint. So you can represent the midpoint of your classes as either x, okay, maybe I should center a few of these columns, right? Okay, uh, as either x or you can represent them as m for the I suppose m is more intuitive for the midpoint of the class. And the midpoint of the class is simply equal to, I suppose, what's halfway between the lower bound and the upper bound here of these particular intervals. So it's 0 plus 20 divided by 2 gives us 10. So in this case, the midpoint is 10. In this case, it's 30. 40, 40 plus 60 is 100 divided by 2 gives us 50. And what we have next is we have 70. And then we have... We have 90. So these are the actual representatives now, where she's going to assume 5 people scored 10%, 10 people scored 40%, 20 people scored 50%, 15 scored 70%, and so on. Okay. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just continue this particular table over here, okay. just so that this is uh, this table looks a bit more structured. So to calculate the mean, and you can see here, okay, and uh, maybe we just blow this up here, okay. The sample mean uh, requires uh, uh, x bar is equal to the sum of the frequencies times the midpoints divided by the sum of the frequencies. Now we can do that straightforward enough here, okay. Let's just come back over to our table. Uh, the sum of the frequencies is 60. So we have the we have the denominator in both of these cases here, uh, but we don't have the numerator. We don't have the sum of the, the f's times the x's. So what we should do is create a new column called fm uh, to represent the product of the f values times their midpoints. So this is going to be equal to it's going to be equal to this f value here star meaning multiply multiply by this particular m value here. So fm is equal to d3, which is five, multiplied by e3, which is ten, which is going to give us a value of. 50. Now obviously within Excel we'll just double click on this which applies this particular same formula all the way down this particular down this particular column. Okay? 
So for example, if I double click on the 300, you can see it was equal to this cell times this cell. Okay? If I double click on the 1000, you can see it was this cell and this times this cell. So what we need is the sum of the sum of the FM column. So let's actually sum that up. So this is equal to sum, open bracket, and sum of these values here. Okay, and let's close that off here. So the sum is 3,300. So now we have sigma FM and we also have sigma F. So the mean X bar, let's see, I'll just, just write this down here. So the mean in this particular case is going to be equal to the sum of the FMs divided by, the division is forward slash divided by 60, okay, which gives us, in this case, gives us 55. So the average score for this particular distribution, okay, for these 60 students is 55%. Actually, we'd expect that because this, this, well, maybe we wouldn't, maybe we wouldn't expect it, yeah.